Okay, well, I took that uh, structure I showed in my last video and reworked it into an electronic pulse motor. And this is a little rotor that I'm trying out made out of cardboard. And you just take cardboard and you draw some, draw some circles on it, and that gives you a dead center. You cut them out and you glue them together, then put your magnets on the edge of the disc and line up a paper clip for your axle. You'll have to use uh, something to get that square so it's in square and just crazy glue that onto there. And then uh, you've got a pretty decent rotor, believe it or not. And then the uh, holes for the craft sticks. I took the paper clip and I just heated it up on the stove with a pair of pliers and burned the hole through the craft stick. So I didn't have to use a drill. And you have to make sure it's loose. And then after the hole is there, if it's loose enough, you put crazy glue in it. And the crazy glue, when it sets up, makes like a plastic bushing. And it's really, really a good little bearing. And um, you oil it, um, oil it up, of course, after that's all done. And I was surprised what a good pulse motor structure that simplistic little setup is. That's just uh, tongue depressor craft sticks. Now, the circuit is electronic. And it's a very, very simple electronic circuit. And I'm going to put this like this, and you can uh, freeze frame it and take a look at it. Uh, I've used this circuit before in my electronic paperclip uh, motor. It's a complementary transistor circuit. It uses an NPN and a PNP in a complementary fa fashion. Two resistors, a 100K and a 100K. It uses a white LED. The uh, coil is a sewing machine bobbin wrapped up a 30 gauge wire measures 10 ohms. The rotor, like I say, is just the cardboard discs with uh, neodymium magnets glued on it. And the way I glued them on was I used contact cement to stick them on the cardboard. And then I coated everything with super glue. And then I put another layer of magnets on top of the first layer. And so far it hasn't thrown them off. And the reason is, this doesn't really go that fast. It's a pretty slow motor, and um, I really haven't had a problem with it throwing a magnet. If you wanted to, you could wrap tape around it. But um, I'm just calling this the uh, Craft Stick Electronic Motor. And I'm Lid Motor, and this is the 29th of uh, November 2014. Now, what I'm showing here is a 2.7 volt 5 farad supercapacitor that I've loaded up with a couple of AA batteries. And the reason I'm doing this is when you use a supercapacitor, you can really see how long these things run in a short period of time. Rather than hooking it up to a battery and waiting for hours and hours, it drains down a 5 super supercapacitor in, in a few minutes, sometimes 20 minutes. But it gives you a real good idea what's going on here. And it's a nice little show. Let me turn this on. I'll show you how it works. Um, the way it works is the magnet going by the coil induces a current which turns on the circuit. If it doesn't go fast enough, it doesn't turn the circuit on. It just, just sits there. But if you get it going fast enough, it turns the circuit on and off goes your motor. One thing real interesting about this one I'm showing here, the camera is showing like a stroboscopic effect. And you notice how, how the magnet appears to be stationary. And I thought this was really, really strange. 